What is going on guys, Jacob Bardotti here, back from another vlog. Back in the garage, we're gonna put on some caster camber plates from Maxwell Motorsports. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a buddy John and my buddy Sabir coming by, so they'll come give me a hand. This is in preparation so that way I could put new tires on, which I also just got. I'm upgrading from a 255.35 up to a 265.35, so a little bit more meat up front, but it should be pretty awesome. As you can see, it's up on wood blocks. I just made these little wood blocks that allowing you to get up. I kind of need to get some like rubber under there so they don't slide on me, but they work just fine. Gonna go ahead and get started, put a wheel chuck under there, put the jack under there, put it up on jack stands, and uh, we'll go ahead and get this puppy knocked out. Got the wheels off and that took only a couple minutes, so we just need to take off this end link, these two bolts right there, and then the four up on top, or I guess five, I don't know how many. Yeah, it's just four up on top, and we will have to remove the strut tower, this brace right here, so no big deal. We'll knock that out. It's pretty simple, just gotta take this whole thing out. The caster camera plate goes up there on top, which is kind of unseen right now. It goes into the strut tower. So uh, the whole thing has to come out before we can install it. So now we got the whole squad here. Have this side almost out. So my failed plan of getting this all done before John gets here did not work out. Nope. But uh, we're just getting this side started and then we'll go ahead and knock out the other side. It is nice to have extra hands and a little jokester back there. Yep, I'm helping. Yeah, you're totally helping. So now we're taking off the top strut tower brace and these four bolts right here. And it's loud, so we're gonna knock it out and I'll update you guys later. We just finally got this off. It took way longer than expected, not 30 minutes like I thought at all. It's because of these camber bolts right here, the eccentric camber bolts. As you can see, there's like a lobe on there, kind of like a camshaft. This lobe got stuck on the inner strut. It takes a lot of finessing and a big hammer, but make sure you take off this top one first to allow it to wiggle, or else it may never line up. This was extremely frustrating. Actually, Sabir even went home, but John stuck around. He actually got both of them out because he's just got that finesse. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna move on to the caster camera plates because everything should be decently smooth sailing from here. And if we're having issues putting on that bolt again, no worries, I'll order the non-camber one and just get the stock factory Ford one from like the Ford dealership. And that's because I'll actually have camber plates and camber adjustment with the plates so I won't need those camber bolts which is kind of like a band-aid fix for camber. Now we're getting to the fun part so we're putting on the spring compressors because this is even though they're lowering springs under load uh, we're gonna use Big Bertha tighten them down because it'll make a quick job out of it and then that'll relieve the pressure to take off this top hat. On the Maxim Motorsports you will use the lower part which is the spring perch you're just not taking off this uh, silver part. So we'll show the process as we do it, but now we're gonna get all this apart. This would be the same process if you were to actually add lowering springs as well. Now you can see that the spring moves freely in there, which means there's no tension whenever you release this, it won't fly off at you. This is extremely critical. You need to have full safety when you're working on this thing. These springs have a lot of spring rate and they can really do some damage. We did have to use a little bit of Bertha, but it's all free. It didn't spin too much, but it definitely helps to have the right tools. While we were doing that, John, he actually builds ground control coilovers, which I don't know if you guys know this, but ground control is based off of a Coney yellow and Eibach springs. It's just adjustable height and everything. So we double checked, made sure my Coney's are all good. He did, and uh, everything's good to go. So now we're gonna start to build on the camber plate. And instructions on Maxim Motorsports are very clear. Comes with some nice printed out pages with photos. I actually built these on my desk just as a test and they turn out just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and knock these out. I'm not gonna show too much of that process as it is in these instructions. So just follow these and you should be good. Here's the new camera plate installed. We have the supplied little rubber bands that way it doesn't fall on us. But you do have to reuse the lower bottom part. You just use a flathead and pry it apart. Be careful of the ball bearings because they can go flying. We got kind of lucky with mine, but we noticed that. So we just want to give a quick little warning for that. But it's looking pretty good. This is the passenger side, so we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the car, and then we'll be good to go. John and I actually decided that we're not going to do the lower bolt where we had the problem with the eccentric uh, camber bolt. I'm just gonna order or get the actual normal bolt from Ford or O'Reilly's or something. Also, it was a pain in the butt to get off, and doing Oscar's coilovers, we had no issues. Probably a cheap $20 for a set of bolts, and uh, we'll be good to go. It's now the next morning, and here's where we're at. We have the bolts. I had to go all the way, like 30 minutes away to the dealership to grab it. Uh, they had it in stock, luckily. These are the bolts right here that we are going to put in there. They're about $22 just for two of these bolts with the nuts. I also picked up a deep 18 so that way I could do the end links on the strut a lot easier. Just use Big Bertha and just put it out a low power level. Definitely good to have this. Really, it's just buttoning everything up and putting it all together. Everything's pretty much done as far as the caster camera plates go, so I'm just gonna go ahead, knock it out. Here it is all installed. This is what it looks like from the top. 
As you can see, there's a little support right here, which is pretty cool. Um, all these smaller ones are gonna be 20 foot-pounds, and this one is 26, this bigger one right here for the caster. On the other side, we have everything torqued up. They give you the torque specs in the, the instructions for Maxim Motorsports, which is very helpful. I love that they did this. The instructions are very clear. Also have that brand new bolt down there, the bolt up top. And then we also have the caster camera plates in there, which you can't really see, but they're in there. I'm sure the alignment's gonna be all over the place. You can't really see this mod on the car. However, it's a must have if you go lowered. Do not use those camber bolts or anything like that. That's just a band-aid. I would highly recommend you guys get these. I'll have the link down in the description below. Obviously, I'll have to go get an alignment, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna love this and it's gonna make their job so much easier. Like I was saying, the instructions are very detailed. They give you everything you need to know. Pictures, they have torque specs, as you can see, 20 foot-pounds and everything. They even give you the way to tighten it, like what order to do it. And it even gives you like a little guideline of like what your camber and toe settings and caster settings should all be. And uh, that's pretty useful. Maxim Motorsports, well done. Highly recommend them. Again, link will be down in the description below. Just took it for a test drive. Everything checked out. It's now parked back in there. I also just checked on my phone using the compass to see what the, the camber is at. On the driver's side, it's at negative one. On the passenger side, it's at zero. Again, that's not very accurate. It's based off of like my phone little telemetry thing. So nothing too crazy there. I'm gonna obviously have to go get a real alignment, but I just wanna have an idea. Um, it's gonna be all wonky anyways, just because we messed with so much stuff. These Maximum Motorsports camber plates are very high quality. I had no squeaks, no extra road noise, nothing like that. Um, everything felt very smooth. I even, you know, I darted all over the road in the neighborhood just to make sure, hit every bump I could actually, to see if there was a clunk and nothing was there. I'd say this over and over again, but it is a must have because if I had this done in the beginning, I wouldn't have burned through my Mickey Thompson so fast. However, I do have front tires already ready to go. I just gotta put them on and I'm going a little bit wider up front like I said before. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here. If you guys enjoyed, then please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.